You're watching ABC 7 News at 5 on your side. And if you're watching this newscast right now, you're probably looking at a future piece of tech trash. Every year, Americans toss out millions of tons of electronic waste ranging from TVs to computers to iPods, but only 12.5% of it is recycled. And as Doug McElway shows us, the problem could be getting worse. Whether it was built in 1980... Or just a few years ago, it doesn't take long to make a dinosaur out of a computer or a TV. A very old. It was before my wife and I got married. It's about 15 years old. That's obvious at this electronics recycling event in Fairfax County, where workers collected between 25 and 50 tons of old standbys. We replaced them over the holidays, and we've been holding on to them and wanting to recycle them and not pollute the environment. Residents know their old TVs will be refurbished or recycled. <laughs> Why not use what's already in there rather than just melt it down or you know stick it in some landfill somewhere? <laughs> but not all recycling companies are as responsible. Tons of old electronics are exported to countries like China or Ghana, where crude methods are used to remove metals like lead, copper, or cadmium, creating a toxic environment. A lot of times they'll also burn the plastics as opposed to trying to recover the different types of materials. For example, in China's e-waste recycling center of Guyu, lead levels in groundwater were found to be 190 times the safe drinking level. As the digital TV conversion approaches, experts worry the problem is only going to get worse. Well, I think this is probably just the start, because once everybody starts to realize that uh, you're going to have the conversion with the analog sets, I think a lot of people are going to be trying to get rid of those TV sets. The Electronics Take Back Coalition works to get the attention of government and manufacturers to slow e-waste exports. And give uh, U.S. workers a chance to get good jobs recycling this stuff in a proper manner. That can be done, but not as long as we continue to ship it offshore where it's ten times cheaper to get rid of it. Advocates say that while some manufacturers will take back their old electronics, they hope that more of them will bear the expensive cost of responsible recycling. And they hope that down the line that will lead to more eco-friendly designs. In the newsroom, Doug McKelway, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Doug. Uh, several electronics recycling centers are open across our area. For directions and a list of items the centers accept, go to our website, wjla.com. And now time for a check of the traffic situation.